right, welcome to the mashup. If you like mashups, you know, taking one palette, mixing it with another palette, this video is for you. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Everybody. Welcome on back. So I have a special video like I just mentioned. I am taking this palette right here, Amy Loves palette by Adept Cosmetics. This is her collaboration and I am mashing it up against some other palettes from Adept Cosmetics and the looks are incredible. But before I get carried away, let me go ahead and introduce myself. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're old but goody, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. Now, just call me Ash, and eyeshadow is my jam. Like, I love some eyeshadow around here. So this beautiful look right here, you will get a tutorial on how I created it, along with some other looks. So like I said, I took this palette, and I said, you know what? I did a look with Element 115, and I said in a previous video, I want to say it was either my Adept Cosmetics ranking video or either my palette ranking video on the last palettes I tried, would you guys like to see some mashups? And you guys replied back was like, yes, of course we would. So I have three looks for you today mashed up with Amy's palette. So like I just mentioned, we have the Element 115 palette. And of course, when I go through the looks, I'm gonna tell you what I did. We're gonna show the look, what other makeup details I used. So this is the Element 115. And then we have Sumerian Sunset. Oh my gosh. You know, she's a fave. If you didn't want, if you want to see where this fell in with the ranking, go and check out my Adept Cosmetics ranking. This is the Sumerian Sunset. And then another fave, Flying Fiddles. So yes, beautiful, beautiful palettes. Nice mashup right here. Interesting color stories that they are mashing up against because, you know, Amy's palette is very cool tone. So also I'll take on the cool tones versus the warm tones or combining them together if you're trying to dip your toe into the cool tones. So let me stop talking and let's go ahead and get started with these looks. What I want to do, I want to do a mashup of a couple palettes. So... I have Amy Loves Makeup and I have Element 115. And I was like, oh, okay, I think these two would go really nicely together. We have Amy Loves uh, Makeup. This is her palette, her collaboration with Adept Cosmetics. This, this came out about a month ago or so. Really pretty, cool tone. I'm really digging the cool tones. And then we have Element 115, which is definitely... Um, Definitely more worn tone. There are a little bit of cool tones, but I think these palettes will really complement each other very nicely. So let's go ahead and create something.
and here is the final look and it came out gorgeous i'm so thrilled with it it is sparkly it is purple it has some light with it with that shade lavender that beautiful multi-chrome from amy's palette the shades just mesh so well and you know i'm all about using your palettes like let's use them let's match them up let's i know some people don't like to dig into multiple palettes and i do understand that but if you have a lot like i do or even if you just have a few and you just need to figure out how to get more use out of it i feel like these are perfect ways because a lot of co colors and one palette will complement one and another another palette vice versa you, you know what i mean but loving the look and I actually really appreciate how lights up looks against the lavender shade and I won't, I think I've done that but when you put lights up with this shade and how it blends in with the deep purple shade that is in the element 115 palette which is not Roswell right here it just brings a whole new vibe now the only thing I was like okay I could not get propulsion to like show brighter for some reason but other than that I'm highly thrilled with this look and sometimes these are like my most favorite looks when I mash up the palettes because the creativity is just endless now for the face details I went in with my yummy skin I you would think I would just leave it out here right here but in my efforts to keep a clean neat workspace and not very super cluttered I put it up but this is the yummy skin foundation in the shade 18 golden it's been a lot better fit for me since I've had a tan from going to Aruba and I went in with my Fenty Beauty 350 concealer now for the bronzer slash contour, I went in with my contour stick that I've been loving so much from Sephora. So this is the medium to tan. And then I also went in with <laughs> this little cutie thing right here. This is the mini rare beauty um, liquid blush in the shade Joy. Followed with my favorite highlighter of, you know, you guys have been here. You already know this Maybelline Puma. Like, I don't even know if this year I'll finish her. Like, it, it's... It's crazy how long these things last. And for the lip combo, I took my current took my current lip liner <laughs> by MAC Cosmetics, paired it with my Dow House, one of my favorite lips uh, combos, or Dow Face, um, what is this? The, the Matte Liquid Queen by Blend Bunny. And so I really love how everything came out. And yeah, so this is the look. So. All right, I'll see you on the next look or wherever this is going because, yeah, I haven't decided yet, but I'll see you in a moment. All right, so for this matchup, we have Amy Love's palette again. Beautiful, cool tone. And I am going to match it up with my Adept Cosmetics Sumerian Sunset as well. I think come out with a really, really pretty look. So I'm going to shut up. Eyebrows are filled in. Eyelids are primed using the Contemplative State, the Goof Proof Pencil. Y'all know the drill. Mm, let's see what we can create. I was chilling with the bros who was up for a night out. Yeah. Saw you in the cut with that wifey demeanor. Hey. Looking so bored out your mind, though. You kind of give me the sign. So conversations became relation. No escaping. Heart is taken. I've been waiting. I've been patient. Thought you'd been down. Heard you skip down and can't be found. Where are you now, baby? Deep down. I know you've been missing me. But you keep being the mystery. Damn. Don't know if you recall it. But last time I say the sun won't shine till we meet again. Be waiting all these stormy nights. Oh yeah. Stormy night, oh yeah. We found you on my way yet again. We must be meant for each other, girl. Oh yeah. Baby, don't fight it. Babe, sun don't shine when you go away. Hey. 
won't you come home right now? Baby, won't you come home right now? Yeah, need to know that you okay, okay? With everything I gave up for you, did it for love? No escaping, heart is taken. I've been waiting, I've been patient. Thought you'd been down, heard you skip down and can't be found. Where are you now, baby? Deep down. All right, I am back, and here is the final look. This look looks like A. It just came from one palette. Like these two shades, these two holochromes blend together so, so well. They're like a little match made in heaven. So I went in with, as you can see, mostly the mattes from the Amy Loves palette and then definitely dipped in with Indie, which is the blue holochrome shade right here. And then I decided, okay, I feel like the peachiness and the silver will definitely go really great from Tal Shahir, which is in the Sumerian Sunset palette. And then topped it off with just a tiny bit of Moog in the inner corner. And my gosh, I love the way this looks. Like I said, it looks like it could have came out of one palette. Then I decided to go in with my Il Maquillage Liner. It's just a navy blue liner to just kind of accentuate the blue. I went in with my Danessa Myris Foundation, and this is the Yummy Skin in 18 Golden, paired with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 350, a contour stick by Sephora. This is the shade uh, medium to tan. Took a little bit of my Rare Beauty blush. This is the shade uh, Joy. It's a little mini. Isn't she cute? And then went in with this lipstick right here at the start of the show, which is called Prom Queen by the Lip Bar. Y'all got to check out the lip bar. If y'all not on the lip bar, you, you need to find yourself at a Target or on their website and get yourself together, okay? But this is the look. Oh my gosh. I love it. Too bad. I'm about to take it off. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'll be back with one more look so we can wrap up the video, but oh my gosh, this this came out so well. I can't wait to wear this somewhere. I don't know where I'm going. This will be a good look with like some denim on denim type of action, you know. Hmm. Yes, I'm loving it. It is so, so, so pretty. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I'm back for the third and final look. We have Flying Fiddles. So it's Flying Fiddles is going to be part of our mashup today for this look along with the Amy's palette. So Amy's Loves palette right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Same details. You already know. Same primer, same eyebrows. Why fix what's broken? Let's get started. Yeah, yeah. For what I have put you through I still have you on my mind My mind My focus been drifting away from you Just wasn't our time Our time You can say, you can say what you want But I know you hurt at night But I tried and I tried and I tried to hold Here is the third and final look. 
I think that this look is my favorite look out the three. Like, I like the one I did yesterday. I like the very first one, but something about this look. You can't even tell that, I don't know, you can't really tell it's flying fiddles. You can't tell that it's the Amy palette. It's like, it looks like a whole new palette. The color combinations, the multi-chrome, how it paired well with the green was so good. I mean, so I started off, of course, with the match with the flying fiddle palette, went in with the tan toffee rose, a nice mauve shade paired it with this beautiful um, teal shade, which is called Green Kelly. And then I said, well, I kind of did a little swatch in my hand to figure out if this is going to work. Um, and then we also have Lavender. And Lavender, so Lavender is like the shade in Amy's palette. It's green, it's gold, it's purple. So I thought it would be a good mix with the green because it I mean yeah because it has that green flex with it it appeared so well and it really brought out the gold in there and then when you kind of shift I kind of see a small little lavender um you know little flip in there and then put it in with yellow browning so I decided at first I was going to go in with maybe like lights up or something like that but I decided to go in with yellow browning to see if it'd be a nice little pair this does have a small little like duo chrome action kind of like that you know yellowy gold grip so really pretty colors together I'm like this just made like a whole new palette situation so so pretty it can't even stand it like literally like let me wipe my hand off so for the face details I went in today with my Pat McGrath foundation in the shade uh what am I medium D22 so here we go here then I went in with for bronzer I took my uh, Mark Jacobs, no, no, Mark Jacobs. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Bronzer uh, Drops in the shade 110. I wish they would come out with a deeper shade, but I used that and paired it with my contour stick from Sephora, just like yesterday, just to give a little extra dimension. And then for blush, I went ahead and took my. What did I say? I'm like, I try to put everything up and then I realized I need to bring it back out for you guys. I used the Blessed May, Best of May blush palette. So I kind of went in between both of these shades. And then, oh my gosh, for the eye, the waterline, I decided to go ahead and take um, this liner by ColourPop in the teal shade, pop it down here. Really nice, pretty effect with the greens. Okay, whew, my sinuses are trying to get to me. And let me tell you, the lipstick, oh my gosh. So I paired it with a mauve lip liner. But look at this. What's up, beauty? Send me this. First of all, <laughs> so impressed. The component is so high quality. Nice blue, vibrant. This is from What's Up, Beauty, their new Egyptian collection. It's three lipsticks. Look at how beautiful the, the embossing is. Oh my gosh. And the component, it just makes it 10 times better. Of course, this is a super light shade. So I put it on with the mauve lip liner to give my lips some structure and dimension. And it has that magnetic closure. Oh my gosh. Love how these look. So I did get all three and I got their liner. And yeah, so you will see these. I'm going to demo these on Instagram. But oh my gosh. So, so pretty. So the shade I have on is called Eye of Raw. Yes. So, mm, beautiful. Just beautiful. So I hope you guys like this Adept Cosmetics matchup. It's just so much fun mixing and matching and seeing what type of color combinations and what new looks you can get with your already existing palettes. It just makes it fun and it kind of takes the itch off of wanting something new because you have all these color combinations that you can play with. So so excited. So let me know what was your favorite look. I enjoyed all the mashups. Oh my gosh. Even the mashup yesterday was good too with the Sumerian Sunset and then with the Element 115. So just let me know what, what down below who's your favorite, okay? And give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because you know I love to have you here and my little makeup family. With that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chair dance, chair dance, ay, 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 chair dance, mm, mm, chair dance, ay.
All right, y'all. Bye.